Welcome everyone to our daily forex market analysis call and this is in preparation uh, this is in preparation for trading on March the 13th 2018. Just a quick disclaimer before we get started this is for educational purposes only trading is a risky business so please be careful with your money. So as usual we will start off by taking a look at our calendar coming up here. So we have um, on Tuesday morning, tomorrow morning, in our London session, not a whole lot of news. So a lot of times when there isn't much news, either we can get some just nice trends or the market could just be sideways and not really give us anything. So we'll have to see what happens there. We do have um, these financial meetings out of the Eurozone. And a lot of times when we have these meetings um, going on, there could be comments from different uh, finance ministers that are attending the meetings and therefore we can see stuff on our uh, in our news feed so we will have to pay attention to that because these comments can drive market reaction especially when there's no other news that day so we'll have to keep an eye on that other than that we have annual budget for uh, UK here and then we have CPI numbers for the US so in CPI numbers are very important these are inflation numbers and it's one of the things that the central bank will track so if the inflation numbers come in poor it will have a negative impact on the US dollar here and then we have Bank of Canada Governor Pola speaking after that but not a whole lot in our London session here uh, we do have monetary policy meeting minutes coming out for Japan in the evening and industrial production numbers for China. So let's go on to the charts here and take a look. Oh, sorry. Uh, that was our account. So just, uh, uh, this is the trade that uh, we just took. It's, uh, it's in the positive a little bit. So um, we'll cover how I took that trade. We'll start from the top here. Euro dollar, we've had a bullish close for the day, but prior to that, we had a big drop here. Now, um, even though this is a bullish close, I am not overly bullish on the Euro. So I think we could get a bit of a pullback and then a drop. We are going into the support and resistance area. Euro did not pull up that much. Um, so we could get stuck in here. So 123.50 will be the level to watch. So if we go back or even slightly higher into this previous support and resistance at 123.60-ish area, 67. So looking at this here, um, I'm gonna see how a price reacts here. So the daily candle close is bullish, but it's not overly bullish. So what we could get here would be one of these. So uh, price has dropped, pulls back, and then does another drop. So overall, the trend is uh, sort of going down here. And so we could see that type of a move. So we'll have to watch out for that. Daily candle close is bullish, but it's a small candle, which means price could drop here. So this is where we are currently. Price could go higher all the way into this 123.60-ish area or 67 or even all the way into this 123.80 area. So that's something we'll have to watch out for. So for now, um, my bias is to the downside for Euro dollar. And because it is, I'm looking for a pullback and then a drop for this. So the target for Euro will be 1.2260 level. So looking for price to uh, drop here. So bias is to the downside. And before the price drops though, like I said, we could see price push up into 123.67 area or even into the 80 area. So do watch out for that. Um, this one here, British pound, this one has a, a nice bullish candle close. This previous two, uh, our previous candle has been engulfed at this point. So we could see price go higher from here for the British pound. So the bias is to the upside but just keep an eye on this support and resistance that we are currently into right over here. If the price is not able to break above that, we could see a drop, but based on the daily candle close, the bias is to the upside, and I'm looking for price to potentially go either into 140 or into 139.80 level. So bias here, daily bias will be to the upside, 
This is where we are currently prices into this resistance area. So if it stays below this, then we could see it drop. But uh, because the daily candle close is bullish, I am looking for a further move to the upside for pound dollar. Aussie dollar here, we have had a bullish candle close, so we could see price go up further here. So the next level would be one point, sorry, 0 0.7900. So we're not that far from it, but it could go even higher into 7950 area. I would say. So uh, overall, the bias is to the upside. So we established a low here. And then since then, price has been moving higher. And now having said that, we also have the support resistance area right into, so 7,900. So we'll have to be mindful of that again, because we could get price churning here as well, like it did last time. So we had seen price drop, pulled back and then dropped again. So we could see price come into resistance here and then drop from here. So I would keep that in mind overall though, biases to the upside for Aussie dollar. New Zealand dollar, this, is, this, one, is an, this one is interesting here. So we have a doji as the daily candle close shows rejection. So this is kind of like pin bar. Um, so I'm looking for price to drop. So price has come into this 7320-ish area. And then since there, since that price has not been able to break above. And here price tried to go higher, could not try it again, and then closed below. So based on the daily candle close, the bias is to the downside, and the target would be 0 0.7250 area to the downside. Uh, so basically looking for price to stay in this range that it's been trading for the last four or five days. So bias here would be to the downside. This is where we are. Um, and we could get this head and shoulders type of thing here. So we could have price basically come into the same resistance area into 7,300 and drop, or it could test the high as well. Um, but the bias is to the downside for New Zealand dollar. So looking at the one hour, this is where we are. So I'd be looking for price to uh, break down from there. Dollar CAD here. Dollar CAD, we've had a bullish candle close from previous support area. Um, however, overall, from the weekly perspective, the bias is to the downside. We saw a big candle close here. So now with this one, the bias still remains to the downside, even though daily candle close is bullish here because it's a small candle. So I'm looking for a pullback like this. So looking for price to go into 128, 70 to 80 area and then see resistance there and drop back into 127.94, so about 128.00 area. So overall, my bias for dollar CAD is to the downside, but looking for a bit of a push to the upside first. And from one hour perspective, this is where we are. So we could go into this previous support and resistance area we could go, which is also our R2, but we could go slightly higher into this pin here as well. So we'll have to keep an eye on it. But for now, I'm going to leave it at 128.70 area, which coincides with our R2. So I'm looking for price to drop um, from there. Euro pound here, um, not a whole lot. Um, looking for based on the this daily candle close here, bearish. Looking for price to drop further and the target would be 88 88 about 20 area or slightly higher so 88 30 that would be the target to the downside it could go in all the way into 88 20 here as well basically overall the bias is to the downside so looking for another drop there euro swiss franc here based on the daily counter close the bias is still to the upside, even though our daily candle closes uh, bias to the downside here. What I'm thinking with this one is we had a big move here to the upside, and then we could get one of these. So that's what I would be watching for. So basically, based on today's candle, we could see a drop back down into 1.1640 level, which is the support and resistance area. I'm looking for price to do one of these. 
Uh, so bias would be to the downside into a 1.1640 level. And then a push up from there because overall here, uh, the trend is to the upside. So looking for a pullback and then a continuation. Pound Swiss franc here. Pound Swiss franc does not look quite strong. Um, it's just been going sideways here. We do see rejection. Um, with this one, we'll have to wait and see. It doesn't look that strong to me. We are seeing this compressed move. And a lot of times with compressed moves, we could see price drop. So we could sort of see one of these and then price could drop. Um, so that's what I would keep an eye on here. The daily candle close, I see rejection. There is a, there's some bullishness in the price still. So I would be looking for a reversal pattern at 1.3200. And um, I'd be looking to see if the price will pull back. So my bias here would be to the downside. I'd be looking for price to go into 1.3200, see um, get look for a reversal pattern and then back into a 1.3120 area. So that's how I would view pound Swiss franc right now. Like I said, in the on the one hour chart, it has the the price move is flattening, which means there isn't there is not much momentum left in that. Now, however, having said that, if the price does cross over to the next level here then we could see price push up into 13300 But I would like to see a close above 13200 before going long on this. Um, I just don't like the whole flattening of the price, which shows a lack of momentum. So we'll have to just keep an eye on that. Uh, dollar uh, Swiss franc here, looking for price to drop here. The daily candle close is bearish. So with this one too, the bias is still to the upside, but we could see a pullback into 0.9420 level. So looking for price to drop here and the move that we could get would be basically that. So that's a move I'm anticipating here. Um, so the bias here would be to the downside, looking for price to move into 0.9420 level and then uh, potentially see a, a push to the upside. For now, looking for it to drop. Pound yen here. Pound yen is, um, we have this sort of sideways move. It hasn't really done much. At this point, um, it's neutral. And I would be looking for 148.50 level, this how price reacts at that level. So if the pound dollar starts to go up, uh, we would see a move up here. Now, because this is strong support and resistance level, uh, price has reacted previously at this level. Um, I would watch to see what happens at 148.50. So if we get a double top formation, then looking to trade that to the downside, but we could also get a one of these. So there aren't very clear, well, it being Tuesday, there aren't very clear moves. Monday, uh, Mondays tend to be sideways before market picks up direction. So right now it is sideways, my bias is neutral and I will wait and see how price reacts. So if price pushes up into this R2 level um, at about, or into this previous high, 148.50, and then holds below that, then I'd be looking for price to do one of these. However, if the price does blow through that level, then uh, because the overall bias still remains to the upside here, um, I would wait for price to cross over and then consider a long. Uh, but again, the bias here will be sideways for pound yen. Euro yen here. Euro yen is the one that I have a trade in at the moment. With this one, the candle close is neutral. So what I'm looking at here is price has reacted here. So we see pins uh, to the upside. There are more pins to the upside. So I'm looking for price to drop. And my target would be into 130.50 level. So my bias here is neutral to the downside um, or neutral to bearish. 
I'm looking for 130 50 level and see how price hasn't been able to break above this. So I'm just looking for price to come back down here into 130 50 level, which is also our S2 level uh, for um, our pivot point level. So it is holding below the pivot point and I'm looking for price to drop. Daily candle close is uh, bearish to neutral here. Dollar yen, we had a bearish candle close. Price rejected this previous support and resistance area. It hasn't uh, gone higher, so we have lower highs. So I'm looking for price to drop into 150.85 level and potentially even go lower into 105.50 level. So with this one, the bias is to the downside. Um, and as we can see, price has tr slowly been trickling downwards here. So I'm just looking for price to uh, drop further. Uh, dollar, uh, sorry, Aussie yen. The daily candle close is bearish. So even though we see a, some green, we have a pin bar here. So I'm looking for price to drop further. It hasn't been able to break um, above this 84 level. So I'm looking for price to drop now. And in terms of the target, I'm looking for 83.20 level here to the downside. So the bias is to the downside for Aussie yen. CAD yen here, bias is to the downside. We have had a bearish candle close. And with this one, looking for price to come into 82.40 level first. And then next target would be 81.80 level to the downside. So looking at it from one hour perspective, um, we have, we're seeing this sort of sliding move to the downside. This is not a hugely uh, bearish move. It's just back and forth. What this means is that once price get, gets into this 84, 82, 50 or 40 level, we could see price push up higher. Um, so that's what I would keep an eye on. But for now, the bias is to the downside for this. New Zealand, uh, um, this one we have a bearish pin bar on, so looking for price to drop. The target would be 77.00, so again, bias to the downside. Euro Aussie. Um, this one here, we see a rejection of the bottom here, this little pin to the bottom. Overall bias is to the downside, but this one could go sideways, so we could see price drop like this and then hit support here because that looks like a strong support we haven't seen price break below that so we could get one of these um, but this one shows rejection so i'd be looking for a double bottom and then a push to the upside for euro aussie pound aussie there isn't a whole lot going on price has been in this range for a long time now we are at the bottom of the range which means price could go higher so we'll just have to watch that, but there doesn't seem to be um, any kind of a clear trend. We are just in a range bound market between 1.7580 to 1.7900. So this it's a it's a fair you know fair size move. With this one as well, I would be looking for price to drop and see if we get a double bottom here in order to trade that higher. Pound CAD, last one here, a bullish candle close on the daily. So with this one, I would be looking for a move higher and target here would be 1.7994. So about 180 level will be the target to the upside. So this one is pound CAD is bullish. And actually one more, um, we have Euro CAD. Uh, EuroCAD could push up higher all the way into 79, sorry, 1.5960 level or into 1.5920 level. But this one is biased to the downside overall. So we could get one of these and then a drop. So for now, based on just today's candle close, I'm looking for a move back into the support and resistance area at 1.5920 level. And then we'll see because it could go higher into 1.5950. Um, so we'll have to see what this does, 1.5920 does. All right, so that's all I have. Any questions or anything to add there? 
Okay. If not, we will call it a uh, wrap. Um, and today, because we do have the uh, daylight savings time change uh, for the next two weeks, so our the trade room will start at 4 a.m. Eastern because of the time change. Before it was 3 a.m., but for the next two weeks, it will be at 4 a.m. Eastern. So I will see you guys then. Bye, everyone.